GFL car we're lucky enough to drive and review hundreds of new cars every year. And at the end of the year, we put together a top five list of the best cars that we've driven. And for the first time this year, the fastest cars we've driven as we take to the TFL racetrack with Indy race car driver, Justin Wilson. A few years ago, there were big changes for the S4. It used to have a pretty heavy V8, and that was a very different vehicle. This is a much lighter, happier vehicle with a three liter V6 that puts out 333 horsepower and 325 pound-feet of torque. Now, here's the important part. It's supercharged. Not only is it supercharged, but it's a chain-driven supercharger. It's hooked up to a six-speed manual gearbox, baby, and of course, quattro all-wheel drive. <sighs> it's a fun car to drive. Here we go. Nah, bad gear change. Holy cow, but it worked out. 5.53. So five and a half seconds. That's about right. At sea level, just under five seconds up here, five and a half seconds. I'll take it. Look, the point is it's a fast car. And at over, well over a mile above sea level, it did very well. And I'm gonna turn the air conditioner back on because I'm frying. Good brakes, wow, really good brakes. So the front end does push, but right when it does, especially in a corner, you feel the rear end kick in. You can't be too savage with the uh, gear lever or else you'll miss the shift. That I've noticed. I think that I can leave this thing in second gear and it pretty much could do almost the entire track. It's a very tight track. This thing has so much grip, it's crazy! I love it! <laughs> Brakes are oh, I love it! Love the brakes! Oh. <laughs> this is a fun car. I don't care if it was slow, it felt fast. How was that? <laughs> A minute 10? <laughs> I think that's better than... Um... It's the record. It's the, <laughs> it's the lap record. What an awesome car! And I actually left the radio on by accident and... Wow, <laughs> that's awesome. I was gonna say I, I want to take it around again without traction control, but maybe not.
Should I try it? Try it. I'm gonna try it. I don't think I can do better than that. Wow. <laughs> what a good car. Nathan and I were thrilled to have a race car driver, a current IndyCar race car driver at that, take on the TFL test track, especially since Nathan had just set the course record in a brand new Audi S4 at just over a minute and 10 seconds. We were both curious to see how a real pro could do. He beat Nathan's time? You'll have to wait, because first, Justin had to get used to the track. Justin is a current IndyCar driver, but he also has the unusual distinction of actually being the tallest ever Formula One car driver. So Justin is 6'4", and let's see how he fits in this car. Uh, That's your first test. It's like trying to get in a sports car. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. Here we go. Six four. Let's see if it moves back. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You got, got yeah. plenty of room. You good? Yeah. All right. Let's got, got more room than I'm used to. Let's take it for a slow lap and kind of just talk about uh, you so our fans and viewers get to know a little bit about you. So okay. obviously you're British. Yeah, yeah, from England and um, you know, been living in America now for the last seven, eight years and... Uh, racing Indy cars. Racing Indy cars and uh, yeah, I love it. It's a lot of fun, some good racing, some uh, tough battles, serious racing, but fun at the same time. So that's All what right. we like. All right, start it up, man. Let's go for a kind of introductory lap on, uh, on the track. Okay. So this is all standard BMW, so you just put it into drive, there you go, and then you want to probably slide it into sport mode, and what that does is it turns on both, um, just go left, there you go, oh, oh you got it, you got oh, it, win. you're not starting, there you go. BMW reinvented <laughs> the way that these... Uh, Gear shift lovers work, and um, I'm not sure they made it better. If I'm being honest, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it took a little bit of getting used to there, trying to just work things out. Um, I like some of the technology. I like the heads-up display. Yeah, and the round, the surround view is also excellent, especially yeah. if you're backing up in the crowded parking lot and you've got a hundred thirty-six thousand dollar <laughs> sports car that you don't want to ding up. Yeah. All right. So under the hood, we have a, we have a. Uh, um, well, we have an electric motor about the size of a basketball. Fortunately, the hood does not open, but the electric motor does put out 129 horsepower and 184 pound-foot of torque. It is mated to a two-speed transmission, which is somewhat unusual because Tesla, a long time ago, tried to put a two-speed in their Roadster, and they just couldn't figure it out, but BMW has done so. How's the seating position? It's pretty good. Yeah, yeah I, I can get all the way back. I can adjust the, the backrest. I'm comfortable. My legs are not hitting the dash, which is usual. Um, down here on the front where my shins are. So it's nice. I've got clearance. Now, you were telling me that when you used to race for Minardi, right? They actually had to build the car around you? Yeah. <laughs> there was a little tide in that car. Um, we had to... Uh, where my heels sit, they took half an inch out of the floor and lowered my heels uh -huh. that half an inch. Yep. And what that did is allowed my knees to drop down and get them clear from the uh, what we call the dashboard bulkhead <laughs> and uh, allowed me to fit in the car. Otherwise, it was just too tight. I couldn't move. So get right up on Nathan's butt there so we get some uh, video. And uh, we are here at IMI Motorsports, which is a very tight track, uh, obviously. But in some ways, it's kind of a miniature version of a real racetrack, right? Yeah. But yeah. It, it does give you a sense for what the car's capable of. All right, so back here, where you normally have the hatchback, you have hidden a 1.5 liter twin scroll turbo, basically the same engine that's in the new Mini, except this one's juiced 
to 228 horsepower and 236 pound-foot of torque. But the interesting number is when the two power plants are combined, and that is 356 horsepower and 420 pound-foot of torque. And that is a serious number that's going to take on this track. Yeah, it's, um, it's a good flowing track, so it works well with cars, even though it is slow speed. You can really get a feel for what's going on and, and how the car changes direction. The steering is very responsive. Um, you know, you've got the acceleration, you can feel the torque from, uh, from those two motors working there and, and giving you that push out the corner, even for a relatively low power sports car, but um, it's got everything you need. For a vehicle that cost over $136,000, there are a lot of impressive goodies that you get. It's actually a very reasonable price considering all the tech, but on the interior, there's some fantastic things, including a special upgrade when it comes to interior goodies. And it is part of the World Domination Package. Or do Mega they World! Mega World! Mega World! package. Now here's the cool part about it. It's over $10,800 and you get really cool things like blue seat belts, special seats, special surrounds, special color on the brake calipers. Whew, that's a lot of money for a small detail. Here's the good news though. The interior is still BMW chic. It's not out of place, let's say in a 7 Series, but at the same time they did put in rear seats which are almost completely unusable for anybody over the height of three feet. Keep in mind, 110. Not, no pressure. 110. Yeah. 110, yeah. That's pretty quick. That is pretty quick. Okay, let's stop right here on this line. I'm wrong. Track, a little bit of push. Oh, hard on the power, give me the power. Yeah, there we go. Oh, push again, push again, that's the batteries. All that weight at the front. We gotta go in a little easier, let the car turn. It's nice when you get it to rotate a little. section, hit the compression, there's the power, there's the power, we're going, power on, last corner, we go long straight, exit shot, exit shot, there we go. <laughs> 106. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nathan, we officially suck. <laughs> well, you guys knew, you know, how many times do you complain, say, ah, oh, I got a real driver. We have a real driver, and the proof is in the pudding. In a hybrid, he absolutely destroyed us at 106. Actually, it was .98, but you know, so basically, yeah, I'm a minute six. In other that's words, his first try. In other words, he's great, we suck. <laughs> you have to open the door because the window, yeah. Uh, 106, dude. 106. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nice. You demolished the track record. <laughs> Not bad for an electric car. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. I mean, I think it. it um it's not a Porsche 911. You're not hanging the back out on the throttle everywhere, but you're not. Um, you don't have that GTR punch out the corner. But for an electric car to cruise around town, go around you know the, the city, and it'll go when you want it to go. It kind of covers all the bases. I, I'm impressed. A new age Grand Tour. Yeah, exactly. That's one way to look at it. And from the outside, it sounded really good. Did it sound good inside? Yeah, I mean, it, they pipe it in. They, 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 <laughs> they got that noise or the sound from the engine piped in here, you know, on the speakerphone, so it sounds really good. This is the TFL test track. Oh, that sounds like heaven! And this is former Jaguar Formula One driver and current Honda-powered IndyCar racer, Justin Wilson. 
backs just dancing around the whole time. Sounds like heaven! One oh seven point four eight. That's pretty damn quick. And you know what? I think it could go a lot faster too. Because uh, there's one spot over there where I think uh, the traction control grabbed him. But that's pretty fast. That's that's pretty close to what's our lap record? One oh six in the I eight. One oh six in the I eight. So you're about a second off of the uh, I eight you drove. <laughs> But I think I, there was that one spot I saw the tail went out a little bit and it looked like it grabbed and slowed you down a bit. It wouldn't give me the power back. That's, that's what I thought. So I was thinking, oh, I <laughs> wish I'd turn the traction control off. Now. You want to try one more with the Let's traction control off? one more go because there's quite a few times you get on the power, uh -huh. the back steps out a little bit, and the electronics just say, nope, you're not going anywhere. So, yeah, more power than grip. And it's got pretty good grip. God, so. it sounds amazing from the outside, too. All right, go ahead and shut the traction control off. I, I'm sure you're going to get a faster lap. That's good. Oh, baby. Let the car turn. Squeeze the power. Squeeze the power. Yep, yep. right here come on yeah that's Woo! <laughs> wow all right let's pretend it was bad yeah all right <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
I don't know, maybe leaving it on would have been better. Uh, I'm messing with you, dude, because you got 104. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Three seconds. <laughs> Three seconds is like, wow. oh my God. That is incredible. Yeah, I mean, the car was alive. Really? I mean, right on the edge, the whole way through the corner, the back's just, you know, trying to rotate. You touch the throttle, you can really feel it. I love the feel, and you just come out, a little bit of angle, yaw on the car, squeeze the power in. It's fantastic. Justin, this is your new car. Yeah, something to... Uh, I love it. I was pretty content with driving my truck around until I started driving a couple of these nice cars for your <laughs> TFL car, and it just got the bug back. It's like, I need something. And so you got yourself a 911 Turbo. <laughs> yeah, 2007 is the 997 Turbo. <laughs> Do you know how many horsepower this had? Uh, it's 480 roughly. Yeah, so yeah. enough enough to uh, scare me if you're really floored it. <laughs> yeah. So and we have all wheel drive since turbos are yeah. all wheel drive. Oh, yeah. And of course, we have the wrong track. But we do have really good uh, tires on this car. These are track tires. <laughs> Alright. The fastest we've ever gone around this track is in the. Uh, 550 or 60 horsepower Jaguar, right? Yeah. Our coupe. Back's just dancing around the whole time. Four point what? four. <laughs> yeah. I said three, three seconds. seconds. <laughs> so let's see if you can break that record. You think you can? <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh. He's gonna make my ears bleed. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you. What do you think? Did he beat the 104 or did he not beat the 104? Did he set a new track record?
You think you broke the track record? I don't know if it was fast, yeah, but it was brilliant. Drive. <laughs> you turn in, turn in on the brakes, the back comes out, you just drift into the corner. With, and at first, it kind of takes you by surprise, yeah. but then you realize it's controllable. Doing, it's doing it all for me. Yeah. And this is a real, uh, four wheel drive car, yeah. and it drives like a real drive car. All right, here you go. 1036. <laughs> <laughs> New track record. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that was sideways everywhere. That wasn't a neat lap. That was just. That was messy and fun. Oh, yeah. Brilliant <laughs> fun. So, congratulations. Uh, let's see, this is a 207, right? 2007. Seven, yeah, so we've got. Um, that's three. Seven year old car. Just set the Seven track year old record. car. Yeah. I mean, it's. Uh, nice work. I want to drive a 2015 one. I think that'd be. Uh, Something interesting. And, something interesting. And let's face it, this track does not play to this car's strengths, right? I mean, this no. is a powerful car with, you know, needs needs to stretch its legs. And this is a tight little track. It's manual shifting, so you know your shifts are much slower than the the, the current car has obviously got the twin clutch, so you, your shifting is seamless. And so uh, yeah, now it's a lot of fun. Nice work, dude. Nice oh, work. thank you.